But Californians are buying up guns as Border Patrol dumps thousands of migrants on Southern California streets. Chad Bianco is the sheriff of Riverside California, uh, County, California, it joins me now. Chad, are people buying guns to protect themselves from migrants? And if so, do you approve of that? Well, I certainly approve of it. I, I've owned guns my entire life. Everyone in my family owns guns, and I encourage everyone, you know, if you're, as long as you're comfortable with them, to, to buy a gun for your protection. Uh, yes, they are buying up guns because of what's going on at the border, and a, a you know some of it is caused by, but also the the increases in crime and just the the coddling of crime uh, mm -hmm. by our by our government, uh, by our legislators. And people are people are tired of it. They're afraid to be in their homes. Uh, last night in Southern California, a homeowner shot and killed a, a person breaking into their home, a home invasion robbery, if you will. Hmm. And the resident was able to shoot that intruder and, and kill them. And good for him, because who knows what, what it could have turned out to be. You're warning residents in your county about the rise in sophisticated crimes. OK, Sheriff, what exactly is a sophisticated crime and who's doing it? Well, we were finding in in recent years, and it's coming to you know fruition in our county this year. We, we luckily have, have not experienced it, but all of our surrounding counties have. Is sophisticated crime groups from foreign nationals from from other countries, from Chile, from Romania, from China, and these gangs, if you will, these these groups of criminals are extremely sophisticated in how they are attacking our residents, how they are uh, conducting burglaries or robberies or or even fraud crimes, you know, white collar fraud crimes of our residents. And it is it's getting more and more common almost to the norm. And th these uh, these criminals, these people that are conducting these crimes that are doing these crimes, they're all foreign nationals. Well, and it, it's very disheartening that our government uh, knows it's happening, is contributing to the problem. And, you know, in California, we are prevented by law from doing anything about it. So our southern border is being in invaded, basically, by criminals. And law enforcement would be criminal if we did anything about it. It's a, we're in a strange place. How, how do local people feel about this? Obviously, they're threatened. Some of them are buying guns. How do they feel about uh, the migrants? Do, do they... Are they really up in arms en masse saying, hey, we can't take this anymore? Is it that strong a movement yet? It, it's getting to that point. You know, I need to I need to separate it, though, because no one is telling me that they're, uh, you know, they don't, it, it's not about migrants. It's about the criminality of it. It's about the drugs that are coming across. It's the human trafficking, the sex trafficking, everything that is being increased because of this. The, the drug cartels controlling the border 100%. That's who runs our border. It's not Mexico. It's not United States government. It's drug cartels. And people are finally learning that. They're finally believing law enforcement. They're finally believing the actual Border Patrol workers instead of Washington, who's lying to us. And they're being, they're, they're becoming fed up. They know that they're unsafe. They know that these things are happening. And they're finally, uh, they're, they're starting to speak up. They're starting to get loud. And they've had enough. Sheriff Chad Bianco, Riverside County. Thanks for joining us, sir. Always appreciate it. I hope to see you again soon.